Today, guys, we're going to be looking at the 30 most tryhard combos for Season OG of Fortnite. This list is going to include some brand new combos that we have never included on the channel before, including some of the newer skins to the game in Season OG. And we're also going to be talking about some of the best combos that have ever been added to the game. So make sure you guys watch all the way through, because if this video can reach 3,000 likes, I'll be giving away some free battle passes to you in the comments down below. So if you haven't already got the battle pass, make sure to go and hit the subscribe and the like button. But let's get straight into it with an OG. G combo and this is Manic and the Studded Axe. This is by far one of my favorite combos of all time. Both of these items were introduced back during chapter one and since we are now in a season of OG seasons, I feel like this combo just makes sense. It is so, so clean. We have a bunch of brand new edit styles for Manic as well. When it was introduced, there was actually only one style for the skin, but now we have like four or five different styles for Manic in the files, which is so, so sick. The Studded Axe is a really simplistic pickaxe. It is going to set you back 800 V-Bucks, but what I love most about this is it's going to work with every single style of manic, not just one or two. You can literally pair this with every single manic style in the game. This is also going to be one of the cheapest combos on this list coming in at 1,600 V-Bucks, but if you guys do want something that is a little bit more expensive and a little bit more tryhard, then Siren and the Leviathan Axe would definitely be one of my favorites. This skin has dropped off a lot. Unfortunately, Siren has just been so popular in Fortnite for the last few years that I feel like people are starting to get sick of it. I mean, when I say a little bit popular, I mean, this has pretty much been the most popular skin in the game since Chapter 2, Season 2. There aren't too many other skins that have been more popular than this. I absolutely love the way this skin looks, and we do have two different styles for it. The Leviathan Axe was introduced a few seasons later in Chapter 2, Season 5, and you could pick this up for a 1,000 V-Bucks. We saw a bunch of people using this combo. I feel like it looks so, so good, and it is definitely known as one of the most tryhard combos in the history of Fortnite. But because we just have so many amazing new items in the game now, I feel like it has dropped off, and one of those brand new combos has to be Omega Rock and the Spectra Slasher. This is probably unlucky to not be finishing up higher on the list. I love the way the Omega Rock skin looks. It is by far one of the coolest season OG skins that we do have, and this is a mashup of the Ragnarok and the Omega skin. Omega was one of the first ever Battle Pass skins introduced to the game during Chapter 1, Season 4. We had Ragnarok added to the game one season later, and both of these are Tier 100 skins. I feel like the blending of these skins was just so, so perfect. They took the best features of both and made them into one of the coolest skins I think I have ever seen. It is really hard to find a pickaxe that is going to fit in with this combo though, but I feel like the Spectra Slasher might actually actually be quite a good choice. You can customize the colors of this pickaxe to match up perfectly with the colors of this skin, depending on what highlight colors you do use for Omega Rock. Obviously, it might not be as tryhard as some of the other combos that we are talking about, which is why it is coming in at the number 28 position, but one combo that has already been quite tryhard in the past is Spark Plug and the Cold Snap. Spark Plug has been in Fortnite since the original Chapter 1 Season 8, and even though we are going through all of the OG seasons once again, this skin still feels like like an OG skin and that it definitely belongs on this map. The Cold Snap is probably a more unusual pickaxe that we see people using with this skin. I feel like a lot of people have ended up using pickaxes like Vision or the Star Wand with Spark Plug, but the Cold Snap is a pickaxe that clicks mains with this skin and I think it just works so, so well. The design of it is so unique. It looks unlike any other pickaxe in the game, which just makes you guys stand out even more. And I promise you guys, if you start using this combo today, you are going to absolutely love it. I feel like Spark Plug has has started to fall off a little bit over the last few seasons. Obviously, it gained a lot of popularity during Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 when Clicks was using it. It fell off quite hard in Chapter 3, but now in Season OG, it has definitely gained a lot of popularity back. One skin that is actually pretty similar to this, though, is going to be the Surf Witch, and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. This has been, at one point in Fortnite, one of the most tryhard skin combos of all time. Whenever you would load into Arena or some of the more competitive game modes and tournaments, you would always see people using this combo. We do have two different edit styles for the Surf Witch, but people only ever seem to use the default style. I actually like both of these skins. They do look really, really clean, but again, I feel like the default style has just been more popular, so that is the style that you want to use. The Star One matches in with this perfectly. It sort of fits in with the color theme of this skin really well, and we don't really see too many other pickaxes that are going to work better than the Star Wand with this skin. I feel like you could honestly use the Star Wand with any skin in your locker right now, but you would 
have to be pretty lucky in order to use it for our next combo because we are using the Wildcat skin with the Leviathan Axe. What makes this combo so unique is not only is the Leviathan Axe one of the rarest pickaxes in the game and that it does cost a thousand V-Bucks, but the Wildcat skin is even more rare. This sets you back around $400. You had to buy a brand new Nintendo Switch in order to get it, making it one of the most expensive and exclusive skins in the history of Fortnite. I just absolutely love the way this looks. I wish I had it in my locker and I really do wish Fortnite added this as an item shop skin. Obviously, if this was an item shop skin, it probably wouldn't be as try hard as it is today. The fact that not too many people actually own this just makes it even better, but still, it is one skin that I really wish I did own, but I could never really justify spending that much money on one skin. So if you guys are looking for something a lot cheaper and you have been playing Fortnite since the beginning, then you might already own the Sun Strider and we're going to be pairing this with the Paddle Axe. The Sun Strider was one of the first ever Battle Pass skins that we saw during Chapter 1. It is by far one of the cleanest Battle Pass skins that we have seen as well. And during the early seasons of Chapter 1, this was definitely considered a try-hard skin. It is such an amazing skin. It is also one of the most underrated skins in the game today. I feel like a lot of people that were playing Fortnite during Chapter 1 have pretty much stopped playing now, and that is why we don't really see too many people using it. But it's going to fit in perfectly with the Paddle Axe, and this is just one of my favorite combos right now. Obviously, a lot of people have come back to the game since it is Season OG and have started using some of the older and rarer skins in their locker, which is why I feel like the Sun Strider has started to gain some popularity, but make sure to let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below. We need to move on though to our next combo, and this is the Dark Bomber, and we're pairing this with the Champion Balasong. The Dark Bomber is one of the most iconic Fortnite skins of all time. It was first introduced back during Chapter 1, Season 6, and this actually was one of the first ever Dark Series skins we had in Fortnite. This is such an old skin that the Dark Series didn't even exist before the Dark Bomber. This is actually known as a rare skin in the game until Fortnite introduced the Dark Series and added the Dark Bomber to it. I love this skin though. I think it is so, so sick. The only way that this skin could be better is if we did have some more edit styles for it. I feel like that isn't really going to happen though, just because it has been in the game for such a long time, but it definitely would have made this a little bit better. We also don't really have too many Dark styled pickaxes in Fortnite either that fit this skin perfectly. You could always use something like the Dark Axe, but honestly, I feel like the Champion Battle Song just makes it a little bit better. One combo that has sort of overtaken this in popularity over the last few weeks though would have to be Focus and we are pairing this with the Star Wand. This is one of the best executed combos in the history of Fortnite. Both of these items complement each other so, so well. Focus is more of a simplistic design skin and the Star Wand does include a lot of bright colors. So when you pair them together, they just work so well. Focus obviously did get a secondary edit style added a few seasons ago, which just made this even better. Personally, I feel like the new edit style is my favorite, but the OG style is probably what we see more people using. There was a point in Fortnite as well where all the controller pros and sweats were using this combo. So if you are a controller sweat coming back to Fortnite, this is definitely one that you want to use. It would be really cool to see some more focus skins added to the game in the future. They could make some really amazing ones, especially if they added in a lava or a magma variant, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if that happens. And in the meantime, guys, let's move on to the number 21 position and we have Chani and the Lovelorn Pickaxe. As you guys know, Chani is one of my favorite skins. It has probably been the skin that I've made since this skin was introduced back during Chapter 2, Season 8. This is actually part of a June crossover. This was a really unexpected crossover that we had in Fortnite, and I feel like a lot of people actually forgot that we even got this collab. We did actually get two skins with this. We had Chani and then the Paul Atreides skin, but no one has ever really used that, and I don't remember the last time I saw anyone else using Chani either. We have seen some pros in the past mating this skin and using it in some really, really big tournaments, especially Mongrel and Mr. Savage. I feel like they have used this skin from time to time. We've seen pros like Booger using it as well. So hopefully when this does return to the store in the future, it can get even more popular. Pairing it with the Lovelorn was just an easy choice. It is a $4 pickaxe, but it looks very similar to the Axe of Champions, which is one of the most tryhard pickaxes in the game. If you don't like the way this looks, though, you might actually end up preferring something like the Arctic Assassin and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. The Arctic Assassin is one of the most OG skins in the game. It was first introduced back during Chapter 1, Season 1, and you can pick this up for 1,200 V-Bucks. Unfortunately, we only have one edit style for this. That is obviously something I've already said a few times, but it would just make all of these skins so much better. But I actually really like the Arctic Assassin. It was one of the first ever tryout skins that we had in the game, and since there weren't really too many pickaxes in Fortnite back then, people just ended up pairing this with the Ice Breaker, which sets you back 
500 V-Bucks. This is definitely an OG combo and one that is very underrated as well. Let's move on to our next combo and this is Kuno with Steve's Bat. Kuno is one of the coolest skins in the game. It has been so underrated in the past as well, but it is definitely known as a tryhard skin. Steve's Bat was just introduced at the start of Chapter 4 Season 5 with the latest Stranger Things collab. This is a really underrated pickaxe. I feel like not too many people really know this even exists. We have had so many amazing items added to the game since this season started that Steve's Bat probably just fell under the radar a little bit, but I really want you guys to start using it because it is such an amazing pickaxe and hopefully it does get the popularity that it deserves very, very soon. It does look very similar to the Harley Hitter, which we are using in our next combo, and this is going to be Travis Scott with the Harley Hitter. Travis Scott has always been a tryhard skin in Fortnite. It is also one of the rarest skins on this list as well because it has only featured in the store once. That was back during Chapter 2 Season 2 when we had the Travis Scott concert. It was one of the rarest items that we saw being added to the game, and I'm honestly really surprised it hasn't been added back since. There is some speculation that we might get a second Travis Scott concert added to Fortnite in the future, but honestly, I feel like that's not going to happen anytime soon. Pairing this with the Harley Hitter is just what we see a bunch of pros and streamers using. I feel like this pickaxe matches it absolutely perfectly, and it does only set you back 800 V-Bucks. We have two different styles for this skin, a default style and then a Terminator edit style, and honestly, I feel like the Terminator edit style is a little bit better. It probably doesn't fit the theme of Season OG though, so let's move on to a skin that definitely does, and this is the Bright Bomber, and we are pairing this with the Plunger. This is actually Ninja's first ever combo. This is one of the combos that he was most known for, and this was one of the main reasons why this combo actually became so popular in the first place. The Bright Bomber was one of the first ever item shop skins we had in Fortnite. It does set you back 1,200 V-Bucks, but it has been such an amazing skin, and was also one of the main reasons why we had so many other Bomber skins added to the game. We would have never seen a Dark Bomber skin added to Fortnite if the success of the Bright Bomber was nowhere near as good as it actually was. So the fact that this skin was so popular just helped so many other amazing skins be added to Fortnite. The Plunger Pickaxe is probably a unique choice. It might not be the best pickaxe for this. I feel like the Star One might just be a little bit better, but this is the combo that Ninja has been using. So I feel like it is definitely worth mentioning on this list. Another combo that was really popular around the same time time as this though was the elite agent and we are pairing this with the trusty number two. I am a huge fan of this. The elite agent was one of the first ever skins that I owned because the chapter one season three battle pass was one of the first things I ever spent money on in Fortnite. I grinded out that season so so much. I used the elite agent pretty much all the way through chapter one because I just love this skin so much to the point where we even got a second edit style of this skin added as well which never really happens for battle pass skins. I mean, obviously now Fortnite adds in a bunch of edit styles for skins during their season, but the fact that this got an edit style like a year later was just so, so strange and something that we had never seen. The trusty number two is just going to match this perfectly, and it is one of my favorite all-time combos. Another really good OG combo, though, is the Skull Trooper, and we are pairing this with the Reaper. This has been popular since Chapter 1, Season 1, and that's not going to change any time soon. If you guys are lucky enough to own the Purple Skull Trooper, then this is probably one of the sweatiest combos in the history of Fortnite. It shows people that you've been playing the game since Chapter 1, Season 1, and were willing to spend money on the game before anyone else even wanted to. I love the way this looks. I'm a huge fan fan of this combo, and honestly, I feel like it's really hard to make a combo that is more iconic than this. Make sure you guys keep on watching though, because we are honestly going to talk about some of the best combos coming up very, very soon, but before we get there, we need to talk about Dynamo and the Vault Guardian. Dynamo was introduced back during Chapter 1. It was actually one of the most hated skins of all time. It had one of the worst ratings. No one wanted to buy this skin until people like Mongrel started using it, and then it became one of the most tryhard skins all almost overnight. We saw so many pros using this. It is such an amazing sweaty skin now. And now that Mongrel has started playing Fortnite again, I'm definitely seeing a lot of people using the Dynamo skin once more. I love the way this looks and I feel like the Vault Guardian is a really good pickaxe for this, but you could always use something like the Star Wand, which is probably the pickaxe that Mongrel has used with this the most. I feel like we've included a bunch of OG combos on this list so far though. So let's talk about one that is a little bit newer and this is the Countess Duraku skin and we are pairing this with the Driver. 
Countess Duraku is definitely one of the best and most underrated skins in the game right now. We don't really see too many people using it just because there are so many other amazing skins being added to the game, but I still feel like it is really clean and definitely worth mentioning. The driver is obviously an easy choice for this as well. There are so many pickaxes in Fortnite that could work with Countess Duraku, like the Vision, the Star Wand, the Icebreaker, the Harley Hitter, the Leviathan Axe, and so much more, but I feel like the driver just makes it a little bit better. This is also really popular right now because this fits the theme of Season OG. This is just such an amazing combo, and hopefully you guys do end up using it if you own these items. Let's move forward though, guys, to our next combo, and this is the Psycho Bandit and the Star One. We don't really see too many male skins becoming tryhard or popular in Fortnite, but this would have to be one of the most popular ones. The Psycho Bandit was part of a collab with Borderlands during Chapter 1. We actually saw this being added towards the end of Chapter 1, so I'm really interested to see if Fortnite are going to add this skin back to the store over the next few weeks. Honestly, I don't think it's going to happen since this is one of the rarest skins in the game, but I would absolutely love this because I, for whatever reason, decided not to buy this when it was first introduced to the store. The Star Wand is just a pickaxe that fits in with this skin really well. So many tryhard players have been using this, but honestly, I feel like the Harley Hitter could work a little bit better, so make sure to let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. Another OG combo that has become extremely popular over the last few weeks, though, is the Soccer Skins, and we are pairing this with the Ice Breaker. The OG Soccer Skins were some of the first ever customizable skins that we had in the game, and these were known as some of the first ever tryhard skins as well. What made them so unique is that you could customize these before any other skins in the game were customizable. You could change the numbers, you could change the color of the outfit and the country, which was so, so cool. I loved the way this worked, and it was such a revolutionary skin for the time. Obviously, now we have so many different customizable skins in Fortnite, it probably isn't as impressive, but still, if you are a fan of OG skins and you were a tryhard player during Chapter 1, I guarantee you own this combo. Another combo that you probably own is Crystal and the Star Wand, but we're going to be using the brand new style of Crystal for this, which is known as the Prismatic Edit Style. What I love about the Prismatic Crystal is that it is so different and unique from the original style. We see a bunch of skins getting a secondary edit style that look pretty much identical to the first one, but Crystal really takes this in the complete other direction. It looks so different, it is such an amazing skin, but I feel like it is definitely going to be underrated since we have so many other amazing skins this season. The Star Wand is just the best pickaxe for this. I feel like we've mentioned that pickaxe so many times in this video, so I'll try not to mention it again, but I can't promise anything. It definitely isn't in our next combo though, and that is because we are pairing Kaper with Yennefer's Megascope as the pickaxe. This is such an amazing combo. Kaper is one of the newest customizable skins in Fortnite. It does set you back around 1,200 V-Bucks, but we have actually seen a bunch of people swapping from the superior skins to Kaper because they are the newest customizable skins in the game and are really unique and different to a lot of the other skins. I feel like what makes these stand out so much is that you can really add your personal touch to them with different emotes and stickers all over these skins as well. And Yennefer's Megascope is one of the most unique pickaxes in the game, which is why I think it works so, so well. It probably won't be as popular this season as something like 11 with Leon's Combat Knife though, and that is because 11 is one of the most popular characters from any TV show we have seen over the last few years. This is part of the newest Stranger Things collab as well. We obviously got the Demogorgon and Chief Hopper added to Fortnite during Chapter 1, but 11 was just added to the game when Season OG started. I'm a huge fan of this skin. I think it looks so, so sick. We obviously have the default style, and then obviously some other edit styles as well with 11 in sort of a lab outfit, which does look really cool. If I had to choose though, I feel like the default style is the best, but let's move on to our next combo that only has one style, and this is Michael Myers, and we are pairing this with the Slasher. Now, obviously it might not be as special as some of the other combos because we are literally including the skin and pickaxe that were designed to work together, but I still think this combo is so, so clean, and I cannot imagine using Michael Myers with any other pickaxe in Fortnite. It just looks so, so sick. I love the way it looks, and it is going to be by far one of the best male combos as we move through Chapter 4, Season 5, and eventually into Chapter 5. I feel like Michael Myers was leaked for such a long time. We never really knew if this was ever going to come to the game, though, but now that it is here, it does not disappoint at all. I love the way this pickaxe looks as well. It would have to be one of my favorite pickaxes of all time, so we are including this in our next combo as well, and this is Sora with the Slasher pickaxe. Sora is another mashup skin in Fortnite. This is a mix of the 
Aura skin and Rex, but in a really unique and cool way. I'm a huge fan of this. I actually thought Rex was really cool back during chapter one. So it was one of the first ever skins that I bought, but now obviously I realize it's kind of a bot skin, but I think Sora is going to be a lot different. This is really, really clean. It just looks so, so sick, but I would have loved to see some other edit styles for this. Obviously we have the Tricera Ops skin already in the game, but it would have been cool to see some other different customizable styles for Sora. So hopefully that is something that Fortnite does add in the future. We probably won't see too many edit styles for our next combo though, and this is the Skull Drifter, and we're pairing it with the Reaper. The Skull Drifter is one of the cleanest skins in the game. It was added to the game with the Infinite Drift bundle, and this did set you back around $20. You do get three different skins in this bundle though, so I feel like it is sort of worth it, but my favorite skin out of this bundle would have to be the Skull Drifter. This is a mashup of Drift and of course the Skull Trooper, which is just so, so sick. I love the way both of these look, and hopefully you guys do as well. It probably won't get the popularity that it deserves though, because skins like the superhero skins and the slasher are going to be a lot more popular. We've already talked about Caper and how popular the customizable skins are in Fortnite and the superhero skins are no different. They've been in Fortnite since chapter two, season four, and pretty much since that time, they've been extremely popular and try hard. It's hard to imagine the Fortnite competitive scene without these skins, because I feel like every pro uses these in tournaments. We are finally seeing some people create some really unique styles with them though. I feel like for such a long time, people ended up using the same styles over and over again. So it is really cool to see people using some different styles. If you guys do want to find out some different and unique styles that you can use with these skins though, make sure to go and check out some of the other videos on my channel because I've created some of the best superhero combos in the game. That's enough talking about that combo though. Let's move on to the number three position guys. And we have the Reaper and we are pairing this with the trusty number two. The Reaper is one of the most OG skins. It is such an amazing combo as well. This is first introduced back during chapter one, season three. And I don't think we are ever going to see a male skin better than this. I just love the way it looks. It was like an unofficial John Wick skin. And the fact that it was an unofficial collab skin, but still so popular, just made it even better. I'm a huge fan of this. If you are an OG of Fortnite, I'm sure you love this skin as well. And obviously we just had to include it with the pickaxe that it was designed for. You could always use the Love Wings back bling with this as well, which is what a lot of people did during chapter one. But I feel like we don't really see people using back blings anymore. So we're just not including it. But let's move on guys to the number two position. And we have Renegade Link and we are pairing this with the Red Hot Revenge. Renegade Lynx is part of the OG pass, and this is a mashup of the Renegade Raider and the Lynx skins. For this though, I feel like the red or the magma edit style is going to be the best. Even though this is modeled off the original Renegade Raider, I feel like this takes a lot of inspiration from the Blaze skin as well, which was really, really cool. I'm a huge fan of this. And if you are going to use the Blaze edit style, then obviously pairing it with the Red Hot Revenge is going to make it one of the best combos in the game. I love the way this looks. I think it is such a clean combo and I cannot wait to see how popular and try hard this becomes in the future. But unfortunately, it isn't good enough to come in at the number one position, guys. And that is because we need to include the Spectra Knights and the Vault Guardian. This is by far the best combo in Fortnite right now. The Spectra Knight is basically a mashup of every other Knight skin that we have ever seen being added to the game. I mean, it's really hard to find a skin that has been more iconic than the Knight skins. And this Spectra Knight combined all of them into one with the customizable features of something like the superhero skins. This is just so clean. I absolutely love this. And I think it is really going to be one of the most tryhard skins moving forward. And of course, one of the most tryhard combos as well. But there you guys go. That is my list for the 30 most tryhard skin combos in Fortnite for chapter four, season five or season OG. Make sure to let me know which combo is your favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next video.